Hi, I'm Susie. I'm the managing editor of Mac Life, and in today's video podcast, I'm going to demo some keyboards for you. Um, everyone uses a keyboard, at least everyone I know, but when you're choosing a new keyboard, what you might not realize is that there's three different kinds, and they all have their different pros and cons. Um, the first one, this is the most common kind for desktop computers, is the dome membrane keyboard. It's also sometimes called a rubber membrane keyboard. And the way this works is that there's a rubber membrane below the keys, and then each key has a rubber dome underneath it. And below the rubber membrane, there's a circuit board. And then when you press a key, the rubber dome collapses, and a little piece of graphite on the inside of the top of the bubble hits the circuit board. And that completes the circuit and sends the signal to the computer. So for that to work, the keys must be pressed all the way down for a keystroke to be generated and that's called full travel when you have to press it all the way down as far as it'll go. So the pros to this type of keyboard is that it's quiet um, since you have the rubber membrane down there muffling the sound and they're the most inexpensive. But the cons to this type of keyboard is that um, purists who are used to the older mechanical switch keyboards complain that the tactile feedback is mushy since it's just rubber hitting rubber at the bottom. So this keyboard is a good example of that. It's the Microsoft Comfort Curve keyboard, and it comes as part of the Wireless Laser Desktop 4000. And that also includes the Microsoft Wireless Laser Mouse. So this pack is available on Amazon for $65, but this isn't the Mac-specific keyboard. So Mac users would probably opt for the Wireless Laser Desktop for Mac. And that, um, the keyboard has all the Mac specific buttons that you would want, the eject key, the power key. But it's the same design. It's the same comfort curve ergonomic design. And that one, the Mac version, is actually only $50 on Amazon. So a little bonus for the Mac users. So that's the dome membrane keyboard. Um, the second type is called the scissor switch keyboard. And this is commonly used in laptops. So if you have a laptop, you're used to this kind of keyboard. It works almost the same as a rubber membrane keyboard with rubber domes under each key, but a special plastic scissors mechanism connects the key to a plunger that presses down the rubber dome. So the whole point of that is that the keys don't have to travel as far to hit the circuit board and complete the keystroke because of that scissor switch mechanism. So that means that the travel distance between the key being up and being down is about half the distance as it is on a rubber membrane keyboard. So the pros to this is that the keys move side to side a lot less. You don't get that key wiggle that you get. And that can um, keep dirt and debris out of there a little better. But then the cons are that it's more expensive and that it's harder to clean if you do get stuff in there because there's not very much room to get in there and clean out between the keys. Um, these are also quieter than the rubber membrane ones, and, um, but they tend to be more expensive. This particular keyboard is the Moshi Celesta. And it's a new one. It's $120. You can get it at um, avo.com, which is A-E-V-O-E.com. We'll also put a link up on the website. And it's very attractive. It comes in silver with white keys, or you can also get it in uh, black metal with black keys. And these indicator lights here light up to tell you when caps lock is on. Another nice thing about it is that it's got two USB ports on the side for plugging in extra peripherals and it's very quiet and it's very thin. As you can see, it's only about an inch tallest when um, you don't have the guards on, but you can flip the guard up too if you need a little more angle. So that's the Moshi Celesta keyboard, and we hope to, we're gonna be reviewing this in an upcoming MacLife issue. So the third type of keyboard is the mechanical switch keyboard, and in this type, each key has its own independent key switch mechanism. Usually, the keystroke on these keyboards is generated and sent to the computer when the key is only pressed halfway down. So if its total travel distance is 4, 
millimeters, the keystroke is generated after you've pressed the key down two millimeters. The keys also snap back to their original position faster than on dome membrane keyboards, and that can increase your typing speed. And the pros of this design is that you get both audible feedback with the loud clicking sounds and tactile feedback as you can feel the independent switches in there springing up as soon as you press them down. But the cons to this type is that it can, the keys can be louder, but they say that once you get used to not having to press them all the way down, the noise actually levels out a little bit. But it's also the most expensive option, but the trade-off on that is that it's the most durable. These can last a very long time. This particular keyboard is the Matthias Tactile Pro 2.0. It costs $149.95. Um, the mechanical switch keyboards are also the most expensive. And it got a 3 out of 5 star rating in the September issue of MacLife. Um, the rating said it had a good feel, solid design. It's Mac specific with the power button and the eject button. But the problem with it is that it takes two USB ports to plug it in. And then it only gives you back one of those ports on the side. This is a USB 2.0 port, which is good, but if you use a wired mouse and you're used to plugging your mouse into your keyboard, it won't really help you that it's USB 2.0. The other problem is that if you want to plug this into a Mac notebook, you might be out of luck because the USB cables don't really separate very far and a lot of Mac notebooks have the ports on either side of the notebook. So you might need an extension cord if you want to plug it into a Mac notebook. So that's the Matthias Tactile Pro 2.0. And those are the three types of keyboards available for your computer. Hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Thanks. <laughs>